Ah, ah, ah. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. It is Double O, and I am back with another video for y'all. And today, I was getting ready to work on some scripts, you know, get some more stuff out for y'all. And then I say, you know what? Let me go ahead and check out my sub box real quick. And I stumbled upon this video from Razor Blade Mango called Silent Hill The Short Message Stupid, comma, Insults, and Trash. If y'all do want to watch the full video, I will be leaving a link in the description to this video and to his direct page. So, y'all make sure y'all go show him some love and lastly just make sure that you like hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into the video here you see it too get around for me it's always like this pain good morning pain uh, good morning everyone let's talk about silent hill the short message oh god okay so in case you guys missed the state of play that happened last week. So, <laughs> based off his, his intro right there, really doesn't fucking like it. It's painfully fucking, it's laughably dumb. Okay. All right. Konami All right. Okay. up with Sony to drop a free-to-play interactive Silent Hill experience. And I'm putting interactive in quotes. You can't see it, but I have my quotes. So, it's an interactive game? PS5. Last Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, let's talk about it because this is the first Silent Hill experience on PlayStation since PT. Unless I'm, unless I'm. Yeah, this is. And honestly, that's what it kind of remind me of is PT. Anything else that Konami put out on PlayStation that was Silent Hill related since PT. And that was 2014, almost 10 years ago this August. So. How does the first Silent Hill thing on PlayStation in almost a decade fare? <laughs> Fucking sucks. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is a little criticism for him. You know, a little quick little game. So my brother, one thing I'll tell you to do is speed your motherfucking intro up just a little more. You kind of babble in a little bit because I'm trying to figure out like it took us a minute and 30 seconds to really understand what you're talking about. You calling the game ass and you finally said it was garbage. Fucking sucks. And <sighs> you know what's worse than a franchise not coming back like for example i'm annoyed that square enix has righty out of stories one of my favorite games of all time one of the most beloved games from my, my ps2 days um they don't apparently want to touch it they do every fucking remaster and remake under the sun these days but apparently righty out of stories is a, is a no-go for some reason same with microsoft with banjo kazooie Outside of putting Banjo Kazooie in Smash, they are just hoarding this thing like so. In this treasure, and they could have just gotten it. So, dog, we are two minutes in, and you haven't spoke anything about this game. I know it's gonna be later, but it's it's like, bro, give us some insight of the first minute, two minutes. You should be giving us a quick debrief of why this shit was garbage you should let us know like oh the visuals was ass you ain't even got a fully going detail and talk about specifics until later into the video but at least give us something to taste so we can hold on because you feel me like it, it just it's, it's a little too too sluggish right now you gotta you gotta speak this shit up just a little more cutty an easy win but what's worse than that is when a company brings back a franchise and treats it with such disrespect and such we're gonna put that shit in 1.5 and consideration for high quality so i guess it's they just, didn't care about the game i guess i don't know if it's the story like an embarrassment for konami konami is too shameless to feel any embarrassment clearly with some of the decisions they've been making, been making for the last 10 years but this is just i don't like to use the, the term slap in the face because i feel like a lot of people overuse that silent hill the last the, the short message i keep wanting to call it the last message and it really doesn't matter is a genuine slap in the face to Silent Hill fans. We have waited this long for something Silent Hill related to return to PlayStation. Or hell, to return in fucking general. And this is the best that Konami could do. This this shit that they just squirted out of their ass after a night of a Taco Bell binge. So, what makes Silent Hill the short message so crap in my opinion? We are three minutes and 30 seconds. The only thing he's been giving us is this game is ass, this game is ass, this game is ass. Opinion. 
the major thing for me is and it's, this is something that's already been talked about to death is the writing and the writing in this game and the the sledgehammer like delivery of its messages makes this game for me borderline insufferable to play through okay so it's the writing so this is a three and a half hour game the writing is bad i guess um i'm hoping that he goes into the specifics please do and i bailed after 45 minutes i didn't i didn't finish the fucking thing i didn't have the, the tolerance to finish it because playing it just made me feel sad and annoyed and upset with konami and i don't know what i expect from modern konami when it comes to silent hill these days but i expected better than this because this to me feels like if somebody significantly less talented made pt we're this going more, back more to something. you just calling the game ass again this, this, you this, just keep finding different ways to call the game ass and you're not going into detail we are five minutes into your video dog come on we got 10 more minutes of this shit and you just keep calling it just keep saying this ass let us know exactly what about the writing is bad let us know stop going on tangents about the game just being ass and then you getting stuck on that stop doing that shit this pile of shit lives ready to play whenever you want if you have a ps5 but a genuine masterpiece of horror like pt it's just gone forever so now you finna give so now you're giving fellatio to pt i'm not one of those people unfortunately you can't play it it's gone it's 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 a it's a digital it's an actual digital collector's item it's one of the very rare ones that we have and but this thing can live this this piece of shit that is just so irritating to play and it runs so poorly at an inconsistent 60 uh, 30 frames okay okay so now he's talking about that it runs poorly which is now we know five minutes into the video that it finally runs poorly at 30 frames per second when we got to four minutes we finally found out that it was the writing so we're waiting one minute per fucking quote that he's talking about that's crazy now fuck that it's not even 60 it's fucking 30 and i don't i personally don't think it looks all that great i don't think the art direction of it is very inspired 30 frames per second isn't that bad though i ain't gonna lie okay outside of that i don't think the game looks all that great to play it, it just it runs like shit it the and then the gameplay is borderline just non-existent all you do your gameplay is just walking and clicking x to interact with certain things in order to progress it's basically like an interactive museum almost hmm that almost sounds like e t that sounds exactly like PT. PT didn't have nothing but hit the fucking X and open a door and just keep walking around in a fucking hallway. There was no writing to PT. There was nothing sit like. Come on, dog. You gotta give us something better than. It, I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying my hardest not to shit on your review, dog. But you gotta. I feel like formulate your your opinions better, dog. Your opinions aren't coming through clearly and concise. You just really just going on tangents, keep calling the game ass and trying to compare it to PT, which was a playable fucking trailer. That you're talking about the gameplay, you're doing the exact same shit in this game that you did in PT. Hit the X, open something up and watch something. It, it's the same shit, dog. Can't be mad at that. Cannot be mad. An interactive museum of garbage where you get to interact with moder how modern Konami thinks Silent Hill should be. This dumb, annoying, stupid as fuck just so in your face and blunt commentary about oh the horrors of our modern world oh look at us we wanted to make a silent hill game for the younger generation look look how look how aware we are of social issues oh. show us gameplay why don't you have gameplay of this shit show us some of the shit that you're talking about we're watching the fucking trailers of silent hill 2 remake and the fucking short message uh show us the fucking gameplay so we know what you're talking about you're showing us delivered with the subtlety this bullshit come on dog face because this game over and over again basically repeats ahem suicide is bad self-harm is bad bullying people on social media is bad and it's like thank you <laughs> thank you for screaming that at me in my face with a megaphone um, um please stop playing this game now once my ears have stopped PT had a and fucking ghost lady guys, chasing this, us this is a game and a fucking fetus in the uh I'm in a sink things as, i'm sorry if this video is rather scattershot because i just there's really not a whole lot to talk about with silent hill the short message other than just saying it's blunt and it's stupid and it runs like dog shit but the fact that konami looked at this and thought oh yeah this is what we want our first silent hill thing to be in over almost 10 years yeah perfect throw it up on the ps5 just throw it out there is just insulting and i i don't want to i don't want to talk so much shit about the developers 
because it's obvious that these are that's what you've been doing for eight minutes you've just been talking shit the whole time you can't say oh i did i just don't want to just fully talk shit but come on dog i don't blame them i don't blame the developers for this game even though it is directly their responsibility to make something good i blame konami and the reason i blame konami for this is that they are the stewards of silent hill not whoever made this I don't know who made this exactly, but it's obvious that it, it's, again, it's following within philo Konami's philosophy of make it cheap, make it budget. Don't give it to somebody really experienced. Don't give it to somebody of high quality. This has been their motto since they started coming back. Actually, this has been their motto outside of Kojima Productions, the, the old version of it. This has been their motto for many years, where they just give their franchises to these shit muncher studios that don't deserve it, where there are teams that are of much higher quality and talent that would, that would sacrifice a goat to to be given the chance to make a silent hill game but konami looks at them and goes no we don't want to work with you guys the actually talented guys all right we are nine minutes in he hasn't said nothing else about the writing he hasn't given us specifics at fucking all oh shit dog you supposed to give us something more to bite on cutty you just been going on a fucking tangent saying that the game was ass you haven't showed us any gameplay of what you're talking about you just been the whole nine minutes that i've been watching this you just been finding different ways to call the game garbage and it's like it's understandable like okay if the game asks let me know why let me tell me what's going on in the fucking in the writing that's that bad you saying that it's just an interactive fucking uh walk through museum which is exactly what pt was and you kept giving uh pt palatio the entire fucking time and then you went about fucking banjo kazooie and some other fucking games it's like what the fuck does that have to do with silent hill the short message that has nothing to do with this shit keep on topic dog so one thing i want to let you know is dog write some notes in your phone keep general notes of exactly what was garbage and then if you're gonna go if you're gonna go scriptless at least keep those bullet points that you can follow this just was all over the place you just kept calling the game garbage in different fucking ways and then you'll say something else that has nothing to do with the message of what you're what you're speaking like you know, it has nothing to do with the video topic and then you'll go back to oh shit i didn't mean to slap it i didn't mean to slap the fucking mic but you'll go back to calling the game ass again and then you'll go on another tangent and call it ass one more time and say oh the gameplay five more minutes to call in the game ass and then you feel me just don't do that no more y'all let me know if y'all did play silent hill the short message because it is free for um ps5 let me know how y'all feel about it is it fucking worse than pt is the writing ass is the gameplay ass like bro saying because honestly he didn't give me nothing to bite on to be like hey yeah yeah okay okay that's interesting he he didn't add nothing to the conversation he was just going on a tangent calling it ass you made it this far i just want to thank you for fucking with me make sure you go ahead and leave a like hit that subscribe button because i do have more content on the way hit that bell so you never miss another video make sure that you check out the links in my description and here is your second reminder to leave a like make sure that you check out one of the videos in the corners over here or pick up the fancy fancy subscribe button now to be on my left your right side my name is double o and i am out uh uh Ah. Hold on, baby, hit the park, go on, do you dance on it? Bust it down, baby, let me see, spread them legs, let me see what you got, do your job, I gotta check for you. Throw a couple bands, put in work, I got some more for you. Slow it down for me, drop it down, go get wild for me, smile for me, bend it over, go on, touch your toes for me, pause for me, get the can, baby, do a show for me. All money, if you clean it good, I got a note for you.